Well, I was going to do a Sunday update, but it's raining. Got some more work done around the yard. Still ain't got it all cleaned up, but got some more work done. I'll try and walk out there later. Yeah, well, not much difference up here. Windy, crazy. It was hailing a little bit ago. My, uh, Plumeria, Frangie, Pangies, whatever you want to call them, are all coming off because of the wind. Anyways, um, it's like quarter to four here and it's storming. I thought I'd bring you out here, let you see an update, see how much water we got. This is the beautiful raised bed I made with the help of David. Thank you, David. <laughs> Anyways, the beans are growing phenomenal. And the cucumbers are growing nicely. And so are the radishes. And I see dill that's growing really nicely too. And um, I got a bloom on the geranium. So I'm pretty sure that that one's going to be red too. I like this color red. Well, actually, I like all dreams. <laughs> no matter what color they are. I like the darker red ones too. But I don't think they have that, uh, that uh, kind of pattern on the leaf. The white, I mean, the really, really deep red ones. But I really like this red. It really pops in this garden. <laughs> All the plants are just looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, I got a weed over there again. It's almost a daily chore right now because everything is growing so fast. And over here, the asparagus that I planted is doing well. Oh, I gotta get this off there. But you can see more asparagus popped up. Yeah, I'm not going to be eating them this year, but... Um, next year, I'll be able to harvest some. Somehow a piece of glass got in there. have to get rid of that. Anyways, it's looking good. My onions are not doing very well for some reason. So I'm gonna have to plant some more of those. And I still got some more grass here to pull out. There's been a break in the rain. Still no growth on my uh, peach trees. But as you can see, it's still green. I'm not sure why it's not budding out. I know that this is dead up here, but uh, they're green at the bottom. I just don't know why they're not putting out limbs. Anyways, we'll see. Gladiolis are all coming up really nicely. Pretty soon it's going to be full of color in here. So, now I also planted some more gladiolis over here. 
around the um, miracle fruit too. I have a chicken back there that literally sounds like a puppy whining. And I think it's that one right there that uh, that one standing up on the thing. She just got off the brick. She's Her name's Tiny. I think she's the one that's whining. Sounds just like a puppy. Are you happy to be outside? Don't get up on me. You know better than that. You know better than that. That's a bad girl. You don't get on mama. Oh, so now you're going to be all active. Anyways, I got some more grass to pull out of here. Seems like it's a daily chore, that grass coming up. I don't know how in the world they come up so quickly. My gladdies are looking beautiful. Asparagus is looking great. And over here in the garden, I have blooms and blooms on my potatoes. The radishes are getting bigger over there. I still got to plant the Mr. Stackies. Look out, Gingy. Look out. Now, Ginger, see there? You almost made me fall. Anyways, um, yesterday I got in here and, um, I, um, cleaned out some, some, uh, kale and some collards. And while I was doing that, I found this beautiful beast. And I saw this little guy right here. Anyways, there's a couple of them. <laughs> and there's more throughout the vine that are small. But, uh, man, these colors were good last night. And I got a few leaves up here that uh, I wanted to give to the rabbits. Some down here. These down here got aphids on them. So I think I might just go ahead and pull these back out. And uh, once I pull them up, I'm going to put um, uh, what's it called? Okra there. And see how that goes. I love okra. Started to make some yesterday, but I forgot all about it when I was cooking. <laughs> Terrible. Anyways, haven't been under the weather today, so I'm not really doing much of anything. Um, I'm gonna take you out front where I planted the blackberries and show you how they're doing. So that's what a sugar apple looks like. And uh, it is very, very good. My neighbor gave me a plant, but it didn't survive. So this one David got me because I love him so much and he does too. Anyways, it's a beautiful plant, beautiful specimen. And it's got new leaves on it. I can't wait to get it in the ground. I'm going to put it over there where the quail cage is. I've got a lot of new growth on the uh, miracle fruit. I actually got a pe uh, one fruit off of it the other day. Usually I have a whole bunch of them. But I see a whole bunch of little blooms. So it won't be no time at all till I get some more fruit. And I uh, 
I thought I was out of luck with these. But look here, fruit. Actually, not fruit. <laughs> it's blooming. It's blooming all over. Isn't that cool? That's my Jabotacaba. And I'm hoping that it, uh, it uh, has fruit this time. I don't know if they got knocked off last time or what, but it didn't end up having fruit last time whenever I seen the blooms, but at least it's blooming. And that's all that matters. So these are the uh, blackberries, looking really, really good. Plant some over here, and that stick right there, that's my uh, elderberry. The elderberry is getting a bloom, yay, <laughs> it's a tiny little dude. I don't know if this one's getting one or not. Uh, yep, down on this one. It's getting one. It's tiny, but it's there. See. Yep. This one too. Oh, I'll have blooms already this year. Oh, and my uh, Barbados cherries blooming. Here's where I planted the other um, um, blackberries next to the elderberry that uh, Broussard gave to me. And I don't know if that one's going to make it. Another little one that was planted here. I haven't seen any leaves pop up from it either. We'll see. Never know. Just leave them alone until you know it's dead. But that elderberry looks really good. And this has got blooms all over it. And I believe, let's see. That is the bean of the fruit. So, it will have lots of fruit on it. They're so pretty and delicate. <laughs> Anyways, they're all over it. And over here, where the one I air layered, it has also got a bloom on it. I need to get that in the ground somewhere, but I haven't decided where I want to put it yet. The pomegranate's got a pomegranate and a bloom. And unfortunately, that looks like the only bloom. Looks like the brain has washed away all my blooms. No love bugs are getting all over my flowers, hiding from the rain. <laughs> Aren't those plumerias beautiful? I love frangy pangies. See all of them on the ground. I've never seen this before. The, uh, um, love bugs getting on my flowers. But they're all over these frangy pangies. <laughs> Even out here. They're out here too. I wonder why. This is the only only plant I see them on. Maybe they're drawn to the nectar or something. Oh, I take that back. They're on the pear tree, too. Yep, I've got blooms on this decrepit pear tree. 
I might have a few fruit, but you never know. Some up here too. And I don't know if you can see the all the fruit hanging off the back of Damien nut. Looks pretty cool. For the first time, this, I believe it's the first time, it's the first time I can remember of um, this ever flowering. It's um, the pineapple guava that's next to the mango tree, but it has, it has uh, flowers all over it. They haven't opened yet. But we'll see. I don't know if I'll get any or not. Kind of cool if you ask me. And whether it does or not, I still love this tree. That is the coolest looking um, tree. The way the bark does. It's smooth and has, has a... Uh, uh, neat stuff. It peels really cool. And it's, um, I don't know if you've watched any of my other, other videos, but this is in the Myrtle family. So, we'll see. Well, I hope you can see these. Um, looks like I'm going to have a decent harvest on this side of the tree of lychees. I'm gonna have to continually watch them as they grow because once they're in you better get on them I'm hoping that I'll have some extra because there's a friend I want to share some with but I don't know I want to can some too we'll see This asparagus is really tall. Yep. And this asparagus has been here for years. And look at this little guy. This is out of one of my succulents. It's actually bloomed. These are the succulents it came from. And this one's fixing to bloom too. Very interesting plant. Um that orchid right there is blooming. That looks really cool. I like this uh, vermilion, so I put it up in this bed. And of course I love this uh, shamrock, purple shamrock. Really interesting. I've got so much work to do. And I'm going to plant these orchids. <laughs> They're just laying there. So, I've got a ton of work to do. So, hopefully I'll feel better soon. And we'll get something done. Looks like that orchid's doing good right there. No, no, no. That's too much. There you go. Looks really good there. And I actually have, I think, two lonely little mangoes. One right here. And I see one up there somewhere. So maybe there's a couple hidden. I'm hoping. And I hope that I can get it before any of the thieves around here get it. But isn't it beautiful? So, um, this was my little Linda's uh, present to me for the Christmas before she passed away. And it looks like it's trying to definitely die, but I think I'm going to move it somewhere. I haven't decided where, but I think I'm going to put it out of the sun so much and see if it'll come back. I hope so. It gives me great joy to see it blooming. And the, the curve. 
that plant there, that furry looking uh, thing that's blooming. There's a weird story behind that. My grandmother gave that to me years ago. And it's just a bulb that lays on top of the dirt. Kind of like an onion. And she used to call it her pregnant onions. <laughs> Anyways, all the time I um, saw this. I never saw um, blooms on it. And um, the day that I went to her funeral, I found these beautiful little teeny blooms on it. And ever since then, now it blooms all the time. But it's so weird. She never, she never ever mentioned it blooming, it being a blooming flower. And uh, it's just kind of cool. Just brought back a whole bunch of memories of my grandmother.